Testing one, two. <clears throat> Welcome to today's live stream. Shout out to Patrick, the FedEx driver. You, I'm going to make you some shorts just for you in case you don't like this sort of stream. This starts out today with our map hunter killer bullet. Looks like this. Hunter killer bullet features a nice cherry syrup note and some almond notes. Along with that, right when you spray it, it sort of smells like this, like in the first two minutes. But it is a spicy, cheery style note. And to compare the two, as it dries down, this is a little bit more cheery. But they're very similar in scent, okay? And then we're going to compare RMF Red Hunter Killer with this fragrance. It's called... Amir Wild and Red. Let's see which one is. So this one starts off very chemically and not as pleasant as the Hunter Red Bullet. So in my opinion, I would go with this one all day long. As it dries down, year hours later, I was about to say years, it turns into Monsera's Red Tobacco for sure. Like after two, three hours. And that is a test I did. The next fragrance we have brand new is called black saffron there is really no information about it but i found a bottle and you can probably order it at this website here and let's just spray it and see what it smells like black saffron hello guys a nice soft vanilla saffron with a little bit of some sort of fruit not bad Longevity, I don't know, but it's an eau de parfum probably that lasts five to seven hours. It's a very upscale, pleasant, easy to wear fragrance. If you like that sort of black saffron, like the niche sort of thing. Today we have on board, if you can hear me well, please do comment if you can't. Today we have... Okay. Creación Maxima. Hola, hola. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? And we have Jean Jill Patel from India. All the way we have Kenya. 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 I like Kenya. Someone somewhere. What up, Unc? Scent of the day. Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and put it in your scent of the day? Has Binkowitz. Hi, Chris and Chad. Hello, Hez. Your friend said to tell you hi. This one guy I know told me to tell you hi. But I can't tell you. It is. Hey, Rob King, what's up, my friend? Thanks. Hope you're having an amazing Saturday. The next fragrance I've got here is called Georgian the Lionheart. And it looks like this. It's about a two-pound bottle. The head of the lion is very heavy. Seems like it's solid brass. The lion heart is fiery ginger along with some other touches of luxurious resins and vanilla spicy notes and similar scent to Ra Roaring Radcliffe. If you were to compare the notes, George's Lionheart has amber and golden honey to give it the sweetness, kind of like that vanilla smell. And a nice, the Roaring Radcliffe has more smoky notes in it and more that's how you say aromatic, but they're both pretty good. Then there's a new Odyssey white that I've never really tested. Everyone, someone just texted me about it. So I said, hey, I'll just show you. This is Odyssey white. It's said to be a Stronger With You clone. And of course, if you don't know, there's Odyssey Mandarin, which is legit on fire fragrance looks like a orange and blue smells like scandal lasts a nice amount of time it just smells fire it smells really good and then there's odyssey mega yellow if you didn't know that's out spot on Yves Saint Laurent why very natural smelling is why I like this 
The sprayer doesn't come out as good as I would like, but the smell is awesome. And it's perfect for a brand new fragrance, dude. Hey, mister. Hello, how are you? Harry Bilcorn, you got a BMW? That's nice. What model do you have? I like BMWs, kind of. Hey, Ray, Mr. Hey, Jill Patel, best Chanel clone for perfume, 1.29 a.m. at night, and I'm loving to watch you. Wow, thank you so much. Best Chanel for clone. I don't know. Chanel Blue, you mean? This is Trinidad, Fragrance Guy Junior King. Love you style, brother. Oh, Trinidad. All over the world today. Hello, Chris. Scent of the day, coconut daiquiri. I have yet to try that one. Moving on with some fragrances I wanted to show you. We did all the Odyssey. We've got this Camera. You you probably know about it, but believe it or not, a lot of people don't know. This is a clone of this, which looks like a whiskey or some sort. And how do I compare them? Well, I just like to compare them right here, side by side. Guess my fragrance of the day, and I'll send you out this. Afnan Miserable with Tust. I'll probably just send it to someone. Mmm. <laughs> this is the real angel share. Right off the bat. Boozy, vanilla, wood, not too sweet. Just the perfect uh, aroma. This is the camera. Hamra. La tapa hamra. Mmm. It's got the wood and the citrus. But it's lacking that depth of boozy vanilla type. But it's still there. It's getting there, right? This is just like more boozy. Some sort of tobacco coming out of it. But they're both very good. And I would recommend the Hamra for 35 bucks all day long. Versus this for 200 Unless BMW, man, you can probably afford it. Right, Harry? <laughs> Yeah, scent of the day. Okay, Bacar is a great YSL, but doesn't really last long. Thank you, Ray Meester. The next fragrance I was going to show you is called Flavia Peach Honey. That's similar to Bitter Peach. Introducing Flavia Peach's Honey is $25. It's a blend of cardamom, zesty orange, and it has that boozy note in the opening. Delicate notes of Davana and Jasmine, which are some sort of florals. And the floral accords actually add the sophistication and depth of the fragrance. The base notes of this are yummy, rich patchouli and vanilla and sandalwood all put together. It lasts eight hours. This Flavia brand is up and coming really good. And this next brand I'm going to show you is also up and coming really well. It's called Risala, so they make a lot of different fragrances. They're hard to get, for me at least. They're probably made in India or France or somewhere. This one is called Quatarat Alanbar, and it is an eau de parfum, ombre nomad. It starts off really dark and dank almost. Saffron, raspberry, like Tuscan leather, but it ends up like ombre nomad by Louis Vuitton. You have to try it. It's a beast. It lasts all day. Just like Risasi. Alawisam. This lasts all day. It's like $20 for this fragrance. Can you believe it? Lavender, rose, sandalwood, and clary sage. This is called Alawisam Day. Rasasi Alawisam. It's got some oak moss and some other oud notes in it. So it's spicy strong and long lasting if you like rasasi this next fragrance is called ian far amber the orient i found it on i was gonna say youtube i found it on ebay for 35 bucks this is 3.6 it's a spicy amber long lasting beast mode fragrance 3.9 ounces 115 milliliters and for amber de orient very good fragrances. The next fragrance I, I've been wearing a lot is this one. It's called Mercedes Benz Club Black. Someone said it smells like Double Vani by Guerlain, but other than that, a lot of people know. And if you don't know, if you're new to fragrances, this is one of the hottest fragrances to buy 
because I would recommend you find it. You can find it on this website and they're giving out free fragrances with the purchase. They're giving out with a $60 purchase this fragrance by Flavia. It's called Viking. This thing is just amazing. Right off the get, it just smells so good you don't even know. Next, there is a new brand I found called Estaria and it is called Oud Capsion. This is extremely strong. I want to show you this real quick. It's brand new. As far as I've never seen it before. And it looks, the reason why I bought it is because it looks like a YSL type bottle, doesn't it? Can't see that that well. There you go. Wood Caspian by Estaria. The juice is really dark. It's really strong food based fragrance with raspberry and saffron again. Coming up tomorrow, I'm going to do a live tomorrow probably or Monday. I got this. This thing is called Oros Brown. It is like Blue de Chanel had a good evening with Ani. It's so good. It's got like Swarovski crystals on it. It lasts long. I, I could spray myself 50 times with this. It smells so good. It's so natural. That was just an introduction. Bal de Afrique is $25. I found this, and this is like Ba Freak. Uh, no, this is Ba Freak. It's like Bal de Afrique. You know, you got that fresh, zesty lemon, the vibrant burst of bergamot in there, and it's delicate floral bouquets. Anyone can open it. it it's like a fresh, clear, transparent fragrance with a hint of musk that gives it some lingering and alluring qualities. This color of the juice is different from the Byrito, but it does last long. So you have lemon, black currant, bergamot, violet, like lemon, and jasmine on top of it of amber musk. They also made a new Just Jack Dark, which is a new bold composition, which dark, it's powdery. It's a powdery finish, lots of wood come together just jack makes some fantastic fragrances and then there's some uh Amphar. the orient is a one we just talked about i just wrote my notes down here that it says it lasted six days on a piece of paper oud vanilla and sandalwood here's one that's if you like freshies try ben's sign mercedes ben's again that they're making great fragrances because BMW doesn't make fragrances. I don't think at least maybe they do. So this one starts off with this deep blue Rich like grapefruit with a touch of sweet. It's awesome. I mean at first you're gonna be like, oh, that's a little bit too much Citrus, but it's calmed down with aquatic notes and roses and stuff like that And you also have this beautiful oud fragrance if you ever wanted to start with oud you should start with this. It was 75. Stronger with you is hard to find. Emporio Armani's Stronger with you Oud Edition is the most easiest, best priced, longest lasting fragrance of Oud that you could buy for starters next to Gucci Oud and Gucci Guilty Oud. Next we have this one more time. It's called the Lab Bergamot, which is an incredible fragrance that People say it's Bergamot K22. I'm going to get to the comments in a second. I just wanted to show you this. If you're watching the Resteam, please make note. You can use the code LIVE10 discount till Monday. And you can add yourself a free bottle of cologne if you buy something $60 or more. And this is priced at zero on the website right here. If you're watching the Restream, that's your, my gift to you. Thank you so much. There you go. That's what you get free. Where Where is everyone wearing today? Chris, have you ever tried anything by Aaron Terrence Hughes? The one called Neon? Nope. It beats Hasibab. And how much is it, Harry? And someone told me to try Hamidi Intense. That's supposed to be beating out Hasibot as well. Eddie Vasquez. Did they change the formula of Loda Isimiyaki? I bought it with Yuzu before two weeks ago. 
It came without the YouTube. It smelled like oil. Maybe you bought a fake, Eddie. Maybe you did. Jonathan. Hey, Uncle. Jonathan? Jonathan, how's it going? Hey, Gray Graham's here. Scent of the day, Dolce and Gabbana. Light blue sun. Scent of the day, Dolce and Gabbana. Italian love. Sorry for that. Light blue sun's amazing. I can't believe you still work. Hey, Uncle, followed you from TikTok to here. Oh, thank you, John Kim. Thank you so much. Kia Ora from New Zealand. Ghost Shaikh. Kia Ora. What an interesting name. Can you recommend a dupe for Dior's 80s version of Fahrenheit? Well, I'm supposed to give away a Yara to some female today, too. I'll just give it away tomorrow. I forgot to do that. Tomorrow we'll give away Yara to a woman. The only clone I know for Fahrenheit that's decent is called Mercedes Benz Intense. There's Brian the Bread Man. His scent of the day is YSL Y E D P Intense. He's getting in the big leagues now. Kamas Perfume. Cool logo. Scent of the day is Silver Mountain Water. How does that compare with RMF Siage? Does anyone like to respond to that? Recently subbed. Love the content. Thank you so much, Brian Punsey. I really appreciate you. I won't waste your time. Oh, I'm going backwards here. Sent to the day. Okay. So if anyone else, if you're talking about the 80s version of Fahrenheit, you're talking about something that's a little bit stronger and more in depth than the, the one that they have out today. Looking forward to that ORAS review. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick um, opening of it tomorrow or Monday, and you'll check it out. It, it's on fire, though. It's beautiful, natural fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that right when you smell it, you want to just douse yourself in it. It just hits, right? You know, sometimes you get a new YSL, and you're like, I don't know. Like the YSL myself, I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. People are ra ranting and raving about it already. What do you guys think about YSL myself? Comment down below. John Clem, do you have La Tapa Kaid Al Farsan? I do have it. Somewhere around here. It's in here. Got the screen up today so you don't see the mess. Hey, what's up, Dirt Law? Much respect from Omaha. Basolaru. Why Ijazi not silver is so weak? You know, I'm not a Latapa expert. That's why Neon is 90 in UK for 50 mil. Okay, 90 pounds is probably 110 US. Arenta. Yeah, how is Jacques Bogart for Ohm? Not my kind of fragrance, but for $12 that I've seen it here in the US, and you like barbershop fragrances, it's definitely a beast mode, but I remember my friend's mother, her husband from Romania, loves that fragrance. And she used to come to me every year and say, please don't sell my husband Bogart, Jacques Bogart. Please don't sell it. It gives me a headache. And that's what happened with that. Fish hunting. Hello, sir. According to your best leather perfume. I would get 1 million percent Tom Ford Ombre leather. Pow fum for the most wearable best leather perfume. Scent of the day is Aqua Amara Bulgari. Ananta, I remember you from the last stream. Rob King, why I sell myself is just a money grab. Yeah, we think I like Rob King. So does anybody want to get a, a free fragrance we can send you? Nisral of Trust. Does anybody want this Nisral of Trust? Just comment down below. Chris, you have tried Mind Games Blockade. There's a hey, Fuzz Man. You look familiar. There's Three's La Tatia de Cafe. You look really familiar, Fuzz Man. Oh, uh, yeah. They're sending me a blockade. I ordered it. So it's pretty expensive. I heard it was a mango. And I've never tried La 
taquita de café. Jonathan, you want it? Would you be able to pay for shipping? Jonathan, there's a thing called priority shipping on the website. It's $15. Then I can send it because it's this weird shape and the box is like huge box. It comes in like this. This Miseral of Tust trust is supposed to be an ombre leather cone it's extremely strong extremely spicy extremely dark anybody wants it can anyone you could just pay for the shipping it's there's a thing called priority mail shipping you can buy one priority mail shipping and i'll send you this it should come to like 20 bucks or something it's a lot cheaper and i'll throw in one of these for you too just on gp so if anyone buys priority mail shipping, that's what you'll get. Okay. Your favorite La Tapa fragrance. Well, I've been playing with this one lately. It's called Nashik. It's not my favorite, but I just the one I've been using recently. And it's it's kind of like Ani, but it doesn't project as hard. It's like a watered down Ani, so to speak. Here it is. And I really like Assad and Fakar and yeah, it, they're synthetic at first, but look at this, $25 for this, I mean, this is why you can't beat it, $25 for this, you can't beat it, and then you got brand name fragrances like this, which are 70, 80 bucks or something, 3.4. But they smell so good. I don't know what it is. And then you have these Middle Eastern fragrances that just punch you and pow wow. Well, scent of the day is clubbed in me, intense man. It's free for me. I can buy it. Oh, leather it is, sir. Definitely going to take advantage of that special. Yep, thank you so much. Take advantage of the special today. All the way till Monday, if you're watching on a restream, go ahead and add this. We have about 15 left, 15 left of those. It's called Flavia Viking. Just spend 50 or 60 and you'll throw it in. Then on Monday, it goes back up to $39.95 or whatever price it was. It looks like this. There's a lot of new fragrances. I'm going to try to get them out. There's about 10 of them. One's actually called Tobacco Vanille. One is that saffron I just introduced, and then there's this. This is very good. It's called Voyage Intense. I'm going to try to show you all these tomorrow when I get them open and test them a little bit more. But out of all this, I would get this stronger with you. Coming up in a couple days, there's some fragrances here. I've got the Le Mail Le Parfum. And then there's this funny thing, which I have no idea, but it smells good. It's like $14.95, I believe. It's called Champagne Blue. It looks like this. So check that out. And in the next couple of weeks, coming up on the holidays, well, we're talking about October, which hits upon Halloween. I found eight, eight fragrances, I guarantee you. They're going to be bangers, and you're going to see them here. I'm going to tell you about them. You're like, eh, eh. then you're going to see. You're going to see what happens. I found eight of them. They're coming overseas right now, and I've tested them already, and they're killer. They're going to be like $60, so that's $50, $60, but they're going to be awesome. Can't get divulge any other information, but that. Oh, has anyone ever tried this Odyssey Ohm? What does it smell like? It's like twenty dollars. It is for twenty one dollars. You know. So I'm just sitting here waiting for my date to come. Then thought I'd just jump on. I I made a video today. It's probably screwing up the video. I don't care. Actually, I spent one month on a video, and it's gonna. I'm gonna try to launch it in the next forty eight hours. It's gonna be mega. Please do watch it. It's got four hundred titles in it in less than 30 minutes and it's gonna be booming
Hmm, born in Roma, yellow dream. So this is a little bit empty. Not a little bit, it's just right to there. It's got no cap. If anybody wants to email me about this. It's got no cap. <laughs> Let me know, because I'll probably unload it for a friend of mine that you guys have got on my live. You guys are my nephews. Just email me if you want that. It's not on the website. Oh, we got Star Walker Extreme coming up next week. And I already talked about this the other day. It's a great Bond number nine. Meets the NoHo clone. Fantastic one, too. This is called Al Harmain Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. I just want to see how much this costs. Amber Oud Black 37. No, 57. Amber Oud Perfumes. Oh, it's not even on there yet. Okay. Well, I'll put that on the website for like anything. $35 or something. Got to check back. and can knock out one of these deals. Oh, and this be talking about. I haven't tested it yet, but it's called Vanille Tobacco. I wonder what fragrance it's trying to to replicate. It's called Tobacco Vanille. That's the name of it. Except they used vanilla is the first word and tobacco is the second word. It's by another fragrance company called Flavia. So it's very. It's going to be very good. It's very strong. I did test this. I tested it before I showered. And after I swam, and it lasts all the whole time. So it went through sweating. Yeah, this is strong AF. You got to check this out tomorrow. We'll talk about it, okay? Let's go back to the comments, see what else everyone's doing. What's up, Uncle Chris? Everyone is from 400 titles. Well, it took me a month. Hey, there is my buddy, Killa Frag. How you doing? Best editor I've ever met in my life. Cool. I mean, he should be a superstar by now. I love that guy. Love him. How is La Tapa Body Al Oud Sublime in the Summer? Oh, I haven't tried it, but I heard it's a cherry fragrance. Fragrance Room Spectra Ghost. Amazing bottle. Very unique for an Ani dupe. And you got the real Ani too, Rob King, right? Someone, somewhere. 14 left. LOL. Okay. <laughs> Eddie Vasquez, me, me, me. Okay, Eddie, just go on there and uh, buy a priority mail and I'll send it to you and write it in the note what I was supposed to send you. Newbie, Newbie Strauss, Trinidad and Tobago in the house. Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. I've never been there either. How much for the Born in Roma? Oh, <laughs> how much you want to give me for it? Just email me, please, and we'll work it out. I love Al Harmain. We can work it all out, my friend. We'll work it all out. Oh, you do love it? You know, I'm supposed to give away a... Tomorrow, I'm going to give away a female fragrance compliments of... This guy, Lonnie Blyler. He keeps sending fragrance to give to you guys. He loves you guys. He loves the, the art of giving and sharing. And he told me to give away a female fragrance. So, if you're here tomorrow, it looks like Marazai, you... I don't know where you live, but if you're in the U.S. and you're a female, we'll give away La Tapa Yara Pink. That's what we're giving away. He bought it and said, don't ship it, give it. That's how he did it. It's a pretty cool guy. We're starting. Gareplis Adan de Amra Noir, one of the best clones. Jerapli Jeparlis Adnan de Amra Noir, one of the best clone of what, sir? Killer frags. Thanks. Hope you're well. Yeah. Almost 70k. Wow, man. Thanks. Congratulations. I'm not really paying attention. Um, my friend told me to spam videos, but I don't like to do that. Pick 10 videos a day and like certain other people. 
<laughs> Yusuf Shivani, how's 9 p.m. Eknan? I heard it sucked, but I know the old ones are really good. I just, maybe they're duping them, like a dupe duping a dupe. What's the difference between projection and CIs? I need ideas for my next TikTok video. Well, the projection is how much of a scent projects off your skin. So you could be sitting here and someone way down there. If you're, let's say, okay, if you're standing in line in a restaurant at fast food and you're the last person in line and the first person in line can smell you, that's projection. The sillage is when you're walking. Say you're walking real fast through a mall or walking through the men's section in the clothing department at a Macy's or department store and you're just walking to get to the coats because, you know, as you're walking, the scent sillage comes. People get noticed by that. Women especially love sillage and then men who think that they can't smell their fragrance, but then when they walk around, the aqua digios and all those mediocre fragrances, they have very nice, pleasant sillage. And then a woman says, you just walked by me and you smell good. And it happens with this real angel share too. So sillage is cool. And what fragrance has sillage and projection? Check out my last video. I just made it today. I forgot the name, but <laughs> go check it out. It was called 15... Beast mode fragrances or something like that. And it has for every level, like if you want to piss off your neighbor or your mother-in-law, you wear interlude man. If you want to be nice and respective, you could wear angel sheer or aquadigio stuff or even this. It'd be this isn't a beast mode though, but it would have a nice sillage. You have a decant. You weren't dropping three bills. What are you talking about? That Ani? Yep. All right. I hope everyone liked this. And I'll try to see you tomorrow. Because I forgot to give away the fragrance. And I'll do a real giveaway. Just been kind of short. And uh, extra funds. Bruno Herrera. After on Supremacy Silver. Versus all. How I mean. La Ventura. Which one's more quality and masculine? The La Ventura. Get the intense. Hey Kel. How's it going? Just seen the live stream notification. Oh, that's fantastic, Kel. Oh, by the way, I sent you an email, Kel. I, I wanted to send you some stuff. If you have, if I got your email right, you might check it. I was going to send you some gummy bears and fragrances and stuff like that. So there's that. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. What's the reason you go in those, in those blind to your fragrance? It's simple. You've never smelt it before and it overpowers. Now, it's so freaky because it first happened to me with Baccarat Rouge 540. And I was like this. I smelled it four years after it was released. And I'm like, I just spent $400 on this. I was even pissed. And then I went... I had tested it and I went jogging on a treadmill in a gym and the and I was walking through a parking lot and a girl stopped me and said, You smell amazing and it was just two squirts, Baccarat Rouge five forty, the original by Francis Carquijon. And then I was on the treadmill and again I could start smelling whiffs and whiffs of it, but it kinda of made me mad. So anyway, it's so overpowering that you can't smell it. It's kinda of like if your back hurts, but yet you go swimming and running, eventually it won't hurt, but you're still making it worse because of the the movement. And that's with the smell. Lots of fragrances cause nose blindness, and the designer fragrances don't. Like that's I don't know they're they're made to be hit and sold. That's how, that's my theory at least. Like like right when you spray it, they're made. Oh yeah, I'll take that. You know that's what I think about it. Nose blindness is also called ansonomia. It's also like, have you ever eaten some fancy chocolate cake? And it's so good the first bite. And it's so good the second bite. And then sometimes by the fifth bite, you still want to hit, get that hit from the first bite. And it's already, it's gone. It's overloading your senses, your taste buds. It's just an overload of senses is what it is. John, what's your TikTok channel? YSLY Intense, 
I haven't, I think I tried it at the mall and I was like, they just dropped this and they dropped the YSL myself. And it was just like, they already made YSL Y live, which I loved it. And the intense was kind of dark, you know, Kel, make sure you check your emails and peace and love. I'll see you guys tomorrow.